I'm Shannon McCauley. I go to Milton High School, and this is my prep coach. Shannon, just from volleyball, basketball, I mean, uh, we've got track and soccer. Uh, do you have a favorite sport? Basketball, for sure. Now that's where well, I think Middleton's been to won six straight conference titles, been to state five years in a row. Yep. Is there a lot of pressure with the expectation <laughs> level? Yeah, with definitely. Um, we lost a lot of players last year. I think four starters, and then our fifth starter is injured right now. But we're it's like a it's a building year. We have a lot of hard workers, and I'm confident that we'll be good again. So. And would you rather have the expectations or be in a position where I mean, like some programs and conferences just don't win games, and there's no pressure? Um, I think the pressure definitely pushes us to work hard, but I mean, it'd be okay with me if we were like that team that would like shock people, no expectations, and then you just come out of nowhere and surprise people. When you started with sports, did you ever imagine you'd be doing three in high school or you'd be involved in this many things? Um, yeah, I have a lot of energy and I need to consume it somehow, <laughs> and I... I don't know. If I didn't play a sport, I would probably be like on the couch, and that would not be good. I just always knew that I'd be playing sports. How did you evolve to the to volleyball and basketball and track? Um, well, it started with ball like dancing, and I was really bad at it. And then I went to t-ball, and I was pretty bad at that. And then I went to soccer, and I stuck with soccer for a long time. And then I wanted to try football, and then I didn't because I would probably get hurt pretty badly. And then I just have always played basketball since like first grade, and I just fell in love with it. My whole family is a basketball family, and volleyball I just picked it up uh, at tryouts freshman year and just stuck with it, and eventually wound up on varsity. And then track I decided to do that my sophomore year because of my sister, and she was kind of always in my ear saying, "Do track with me, it'd be so much fun." So then I finally did it, and then we both went to state together. So it's probably. One of my favorite moments of high school. I was going to say, to be able to, to go with a sibling. and do you, yeah, Sometimes it's, uh, you know, brother, sister, sisters, you know, a little argumentative. But mm -hmm. for you to actually go out, that says something about how much respect you have for your sister. Yeah. She's definitely my role model. She's such a workhorse. And, yeah, she's, she's my best friend, too. So it's always fun. And then uh, you also have an inspirational teammate. There's a little backstory behind. Yeah. Natalie Staples, I mean... The fact that she's like even living today is remarkable, and that she's playing basketball and she's one of our leading scorers, it's just crazy. I have so much respect for her, and I don't know, just looking at her every day just gives everyone the motivation to keep pushing through all like the hard, hard stuff in basketball. Yeah, she's being one of your classmates, yeah. and when she was hurt, uh, it was an accident, what, a couple of, a couple of years ago? Um, or I think it was... Before your sophomore year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been on Natalie's basketball team for probably... I think it's been like 10 years now, and um, I couldn't imagine not playing basketball with her. Like, finally, I mean, we had a moment last year at State where she came into the game and we kind of looked at each other saying, like, like I don't know, like, this is it. Like, it was really cool. Kind of meant to be. Yeah. Uh, I said uh, family, uh, you know, brother and two dogs, two cats. Yep. <laughs> yeah, with the names? Or? Um, my dog's names are Bo and Toby. Bo's a lab and Toby's a cockapoo. And then I have two cats, and their names are Duke and Freddie. Yeah. So do they rule the house? Oh, yeah. there's It's like a zoo in there. There's animals everywhere, every room. You said uh, pretty energetic uh, uh, athlete, favorite athlete, B.J. Raji. So yep. Packer fan, so oh, not yeah. just an athlete. You follow pro sports, college sports too? Yeah, I do, definitely. I'm really into basketball, so I watch a lot of college games and NBA too. And who's your favorite? Do you have a favorite team or a favorite player? Or? Um, well, my favorite uh, college team is the Badgers, of course. But um, I know a lot of people don't like the Heat, but I like the Heat a lot. So okay. I've always liked Dwayne Wade. So. so favorite opponent, Verona. Yeah. And is that in everything, pretty much? Yeah, basically. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're pretty good in a lot of things, too. So. Yeah, they are. It's been, is it nice having a rival that is always there that you can count on to kind of push you to? Yeah, it started actually... Um, during like middle school and everything, I always love playing against Verona because I mean you kind of know the people, but then you don't, and you just always want to beat them, and you just get really pumped up for the games. Have you ever played in any teams with uh, athletes from there, like AEU? Or? Um, I feel like I have, but I can't think of it right now. Okay. Uh, I said favorite food. You gotta be from Wisconsin. Cheese curds. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Favorite kind of cheese curds? Uh, um, just like the fried cheese curds. I don't know. Okay. I like any kind though. 
Okay. And then, uh, well, I get my news, Twitter and favorite website, Netflix. So mm -hmm. a little social networking and movies. Uh, yeah. You like, you like watching movies? Any particular? Oh, yeah. I, um, well, on Netflix, I mostly watch, like, TV shows. So, like, after I get done with practice, I go shower, and then I pop into bed, watch Netflix, like, all night. And, yeah, it's just it's relaxing. Okay. Uh, though, interesting, I wish I could meet. Elvis Presley. Uh -huh. <laughs> How did you become an Elvis fan? I really don't know. I it just like all of a sudden. I mean, I've always listened to him growing up, and then I think it was maybe middle school or something. I started like listening to him more and more, and then I just kind of I don't want, I don't want to say fell in love, but I like him a lot. I guess. Like the music, okay. Yeah. Um, for you, you've been involved in a few activities around school, uh, student council and key club. Uh, do you have a favorite volunteer effort that you're participating in? Um, well, that I've done was package meals for Haiti. We packaged like over a million meals and I'm, it was a really cool experience just to see how like everyone could come together and do something great. So did that kind of have an impact on you as you get older about yeah. volunteering and community service? Yeah, I'll definitely keep on volunteering. And as far as future plans, uh, you want to study radiation mm -hmm. to become an ultrasound technician. Yep. How did that evolve or that um, interest? I had like some problems with my stomach and so I had an ultrasound to check out my kidneys and everything and I thought it was really cool and I asked the doctor about it and she told me about everything that she went through and it just, I don't know, always stuck with me and I've always been really interested in it. So, so you like science and yeah. medicine a little bit? Mm -hmm. And did you have any plans for college? Are you looking at participating in a sport? or? Um, I think the only, if I would participate in a sport it would be like at a smaller school like D3 and if I would do anything, it would be run track, but I don't think I really want to do that. I'm kind of leaning more towards going to Montana for just for school. So. Why Montana? My dad played basketball there, and he always talks about how great it is, and I don't know. It just seems like a cool place to go, get away from everything, start out fresh, I guess. You've never been there at all? I've never yeah. been there, but I would definitely visit before I went there, so okay. <laughs> just to see if I liked it. But you can see yourself out there, mm -hmm. part of that. When you look at, back at your time at Middleton, what do you think is going to stand out the most to being here? Um, I think definitely like all of the basketball moments, like running out for state, is just something that like every time I go into the Kohl Center, it replays in my mind. It was just such a cool feeling. And then also um, staying with my sister, it's just something not everyone gets to experience, and it was, it was really cool. Hey, do you have two different sports, basketball and track? Was there one that was a better experience or – Basketball, maybe, because it's one sport, track, there's just so many different athletes there. That yeah. I would say basketball because it's like a team thing. And, um, I don't know, just like everyone, not like not everyone gets to go to state. And to get like a whole team to go, it's just incredible. And everyone's faces just like light up whenever they're playing. And then for um, track, I didn't do so well. I got dead last. So that wasn't the best. But just to make it there was pretty cool. Just the whole atmosphere, the, yeah. the new track. and. Mm -hmm. And then the bluffs and everything. Yeah, yeah. But now the team though does some some kind of a traditional things though. Do you remember stuff you did away from the track, uh, bonding type um, things or? Yeah, we go to a petting farm and <laughs> we get to play with like goats and everything. And that was pretty cool. I've never actually stayed in a what is it a bed and breakfast? Bed breakfast. Yeah, it was, it was pretty neat. So uh, that best part of sports is uh, the people and some other outside activities as well, right? Yeah. Well, uh, Shannon, congrats on a great high school career, and I uh, hope you have a great winter, and good luck uh, making your decision in the spring. <laughs> Thank you.